Hey, how's it going? Uh, I have two new coffees on the table and two coffees I'll talk about. Uh, the Troso is a special varietal from Colombia. Um, the taste profile you can expect is an apple, brown sugar, kind of fruity tone, but not a very fruity coffee overall. Everything's a bit in a balance. Everything's kind of like solid, like seven or eight across the board. Um, if you're looking for that fruity, washed Colombia thing, this is definitely it, um, which has some of those kind of elements towards, uh, what is that kind of overall Columbia profile? Uh, shows you the kind of the addition of that varietal, this impact upon the origin profile. Costa Rica dry process, um, which the name escapes me, uh, San Cristobal. Uh, it has grapes, pomegranates, fruits, you know, really in the forefront but it's also very structured. So they all kind of like, once you get through one thing, you're gonna to get to the next thing and next thing. So it's you know, grape, pomegranate, chocolates. Um, there's a really nice kind of zesty acidity to it. Uh, that's very, 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 very sweet uh, as a coffee. I would go really so far as to say this is, this is kind of the quintessential micro lot style coffee. Uh, and the price is reflective of that. You might not, agree with origin, things like that, that go along with the price. So this might kind of narrow some people, but if you're looking for one of those, you know, pristine, uh, you enter this into a competition, you try and win a cup of excellence or something like that, this would be that type of coffee. Um, it's definitely an auction lot world of the coffee. If you're just the person that likes just Costa Rica, Oh, I love Costa Rican coffees. I would highly, highly suggest that you do not try this. Um, you will be kind of mistaken, you know. When we kind of come to origin selling something, when you get to these types of coffees, you understand this is a category onto itself. And that, does that mean that the value is not there? No, not, not whatsoever. But the, uh, it's just, yeah, I have to delineate between if you're buying it strictly on origin. So yeah, be aware of that. I have a uh, honey process and a washed Ethiopian here as well that I've tried one sip before I cooled. Honey process, it tastes like, a, I had it from the first sip, I thought this, but it, it, I think it's the same thing. I'll validate it again. Um, this tastes like, it's a honey process, which, which, which is rare for Ethiopia, which is why I bought it. Um, It's got a, an interesting like floral, like aftertone, uh, kind of lime going on. It reminds me a lot of um, a Jira coffee. So I'd be kind of curious if this is from Jira itself. There's a caramel sweetness to it. So generally it's one of the tea-like, but a little on tea-like. So you're not getting a lot of those Earl Grey tannin um, notes to it um, that kind of tend to dominate Ethiopia coffees. Almost assuredly, assuredly, it's there. There's definitely a lime, a lemon lime candy like sweetness to this that's I'm finding really appealing. Overall, it's, first impressions are pretty fun with that. Uh, I keep on wanting to come back to it, as you can tell. Uh, so, a washed coffee is from Dumerso, which I've carried before, but as a natural many, 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 many years ago. If you're looking for that tea like Ethiopia thing, this kind of does it. I would say this is, uh, you know, not really in that Yurgachev lane, though it definitely does do that. So, kind of the counterbalance to this saying that, like, is that Earl Grey tannins tea like thing? That's kind of what's going on here. The florals are definitely somewhat in the background, more so than the honey process, but it's definitely there. There's some jasmine going on, uh, very delicate kind of mild floral, mild fruit, Earl Grey, tannins, earthy. Overall, a more mild cup of um, Ethiopian, but the mild does not necessarily mean boring or tasteless. It just means everything's kind of muted and softer, uh, a more relaxing cup of coffee, I'll say that. Whereas this one might be a little bit too much of a bright powerhouse to, to start your morning.
keep on going back to this honey. It's pretty good, as you can tell. Maybe that's just because I've soured a little bit on the washed uh, Ethiopians, because I've had so many of them over my lifetime that I'm just a little less impressed. There's a nice kind of vanilla buttery, buttery creaminess that's kind of showing up uh, into the, this cup of coffee. So I would say if you if you if you're the type that adds butter, maybe you should add some creamer to it, but a very light amount. Uh, this kind of will be reflective of a coffee that would kind of suit you. This definitely has pour over potential. This one more so than that. Um, I would say all of these are. I would try this as espresso, I would try the Churroso as espresso on Costa. I would not give this a whirl as espresso, definitely not recommended for it. Um, I feel like I'm underselling this coffee a little bit against these cup of coffees. It's a little it's a little tough to delineate the the taste notes to have them all be amazing. Um, not everything is that way. Uh, but if you're looking for that kind of washed Ethiopia, this does the exact thing that you should expect. Honey process, this would be that sort of check the boxes of something fun and different I've tried to say it's honey process where I don't know if you're going to pick up necessarily all that honey kind of caramels that you generally expect. Uh, Jira, I think, is origin is probably shining through if it is that origin. Yeah, that's all I have to say. See you next one.